I came to New York and one of my friends from the Pacific, his name's Keith Nobbs, uh, a terrific actor as well. He introduced me to his agent um, at Gersh and uh, Keith obviously had, had, I guess, talked me up. And so I, they gave me uh, basically dummy sides and asked me to audition at the Gersh offices uh, on tape. And I did this, uh, this audition scene and I forget what movie it was from. It was like a, a graffiti, uh, like a bunch of taggers getting in trouble and like running, you know, running amok from the law and stuff. Uh, and I thought I, I really, um, I really messed it up. I did a terrible job. And, uh, and I got the feedback that you're not quite ready, but maybe soon. And then it was the, I think the next, I think a year later or something, I came over and I was too shy to go back in for Gersh because I was, I just thought I'd, I'd messed it up so badly mm -hmm. the first um, but they got wind of the fact that I was back and they asked me to do it again. And, uh, and I, I did another scene for them and, um, yeah. And then they, they called me and offered to represent me and, and I was like, okay, that's uh, uh, amazing. And I've had the same agent, um, ever since. Fantastic. So, you know, I think it's, there's something unique about that. Well, actually what I'd like to point out, I think is, is this idea that, um, you know, maybe there, maybe you did improve over time, and maybe in fact it wasn't just necessarily the right. You know, an audition is one moment in time. Exactly. Unfortunately, yeah. so it might not have been the right either moment in time, the right work that really represented you. It's someone's guess, right? Yeah. Uh, out of the material that they had available to them, um, or it might have been you know that you needed some time to uh, you know refine your craft for before you were ready for that type of agency. And there are varying levels of agencies, so it's mm -hmm. fair that they they can have their um, pick, and you can be a part of different levels. Uh, but, you know, I, I think it's also something to be said that, uh, you know, again, you are in a position um, to, to come back to them in a year and, and feel free to say like, hey, uh, I'd like to I'd like to talk to you again. You know, we spoke at this point last year. Um, you said maybe not at the time, but at some point later. Well, now it's later and I'd like to come in again. Uh, you know, and if you have any sort of. Uh, something to bring along with that, whether it's work that you've done since or whatever else, um, whatever credentials and qualifications you can bring, then you're totally well within your right to pursue that again. And I, and I say this more for the listening audience, because I think that, that that's important to remember that you, uh, you know, no one cares about your career as much as you do. So you are the CEO of this, you do decide what's next. And if someone says, yeah, um, maybe not now, but you know, in the next few months, reach out, then you should. Uh, maybe not now, but, you know, a year from now or so, um, you know, we can talk again about some sort of business relationship, then you should, you should follow up on that. I mean, people have to understand that patience is key. And it does take a while to build these relationships. Definitely. Yeah, I follow would, up I, is, is most important. <laughs> yes, follow up is, is definitely important. That's a that's an excellent point. In fact, 